Skype for Business makes it simple to connect with colleagues in a variety of ways, including instant messages, audio calls, and video conferencing, and getting started is a snap. You may need to initially log in to Skype for Business. Be sure to use your organization email address, not a Skype name or Microsoft account. If needed, enter your password. Then click Sign In. Presence, or status, lets others know if you're online and available, away from your computer, or in a meeting. By default, your status changes based on appointments scheduled in your Outlook calendar or out-of-office settings. Or you can manually adjust your status to control how or whether you want people to contact you. Status updates show up in Skype and in other Office programs like Outlook. You have the option to enter your location and can add a personal note to let others know what's happening in your world. The lower portion of the window stores contacts, which can be organized into groups and sorted by criteria such as status. There's a search box to locate other Skype users. Just type a few letters of the first or last name. To make it easier to connect, you can add the person to favorites or a custom group. Hovering over a person's picture reveals options to send a quick instant message, make an audio or video call, or check out their contact card. The contact card displays more information, such as availability based on their Outlook calendar. Today, instant messaging, or IM, is one of the most popular ways to connect with colleagues. Opening the conversation window allows you to start a chat, share screens, or use your camera for a quick face-to-face -face meeting. And don't worry if you miss a call or conversation. You can view a log of your Skype for Business activity or find missed connections. And because it's integrated with Outlook, you'll even find a listing of meetings for a given day. Now you know how to get started. Be sure to check out other clips to learn how to get the most from Skype for Business.